these kids have the world at their fingertips. If you don't want your family members to see that kind of stuff, if you don't want grandma to see that kind of stuff, don't send those nude photographs out. Talk to your kids, be as open as possible. Continuing our two news investigation on a trending crime that parents really need to be aware of. Yeah, tonight our Brian Schnee explaining what is happening all over the world, including here in Utah, involving online criminals taking advantage of your kids. Well, it's called sextortion. There are a few consequences far beyond shame and guilt for those who have been victimized. I spoke with a Utah mother whose son got into one of these situations. She wants everyone to know what's really happening on those devices that your children are likely using every day. I looked at him and I just knew instantly something was really wrong. And he um, says to me, that he had something to tell me, and it was gonna be very hard. In late 2022, Melissa said her 15-year-old son came into her room one night to have a conversation. He uh, began to tell me that he started to have a phone uh, text conversation um, with somebody that he had just met online. Her son was devastated. He told her that he struck up a text conversation with someone, and the conversation turned to the topic of sex. So then he told me that they had talked him into um, sending a picture, and then instantly started asking him for money. I think it was $5,000, like instantly. This is sextortion, and Melissa's son and her whole family had just become victims. Melissa told me that the criminal on the other end screenshotted a group of her son's friends and family on social media and threatened to send those photos to the group if they didn't pay up. I think as a mom, it was shocking to me to know that that loss of innocence, you know, that he was already at that stage in life. That was shocking. They didn't pay the money. Instead, Melissa took the phone and messaged the account. You mentioned you weren't mad at your son. I wasn't. I, I feel, I, I, honestly, I, he's 15. <laughs> um, what can I say? At that age, raging hormones, I don't know if that's, I, I mean, I feel like it's very typical behavior for a 15-year-old. The messages stopped, and to their knowledge, the photographs of her son weren't distributed. Do you still have a concern knowing that photo was sent anyway? I, I don't like that, that those pictures. There was a couple pictures he sent out. I, I, it devastates me to think about them being out there. Melissa admits she didn't know what sextortion was before this ordeal, but she wants other parents to take notice and talk to their children. I know a lot of cases I've heard kids trying to take care of it themselves and will send money and feel trapped. And I, I mean, that's just terrible. So and then pictures end up going out which is sad. Melissa told me she also reached out to local law enforcement. She learned weeks later that her case was closed and the criminal's IP address was tracked to Ivory Coast, which is in Africa. Her main reason for sharing her story with us is so parents and children here in Utah can have that realistic open dialogue together about what is out there and who is trying to reach out on those platforms. Now, we also spoke with Unified Police and the FBI about this concerning trend. It's something that uh, is difficult to prevent um, if we don't address it. By pretending this stuff doesn't happen or to just say stay away, well, that doesn't really help because when they are faced with it, they don't know what to do. Sergeant Rob Scott calls the Internet a huge playground for these predators to come in and manipulate people. Special Agent Curtis Cox has this advice for parents. Have that uncomfortable and awkward conversation with your kids. More from our conversations at KUTV.com and on our YouTube page. Live in studio, Brian Schnee, KUTV 2 News.